Hello everyone, welcome to Brighton Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 72 of Mountain Blade Warband. What's happened was that uh, Lady Sonadel, when we visited Praven for Alfren, uh, we also got a note from Lady Sonadel to come visit her in Jakala. So we came over here, and it, it also happened that they're having a feast. So right now, when we saw her again, uh, she, because of her invite, so we came in and attended the feast. So our relationship with her has now increased to nine. So right now, we can talk to her again. This is her private chambers. I do so enjoy speaking to you, but as a daughter of a good family, I must protect my reputation. It's probably not suitable for us to tarry too long here in conversation, but I would hope to see you again soon. So we'll press R2. So we are at 9%. So, and we can ask, do you think that we may have a future together? The reason why we're asking this is that, you know, while he, she is here, the father is also here and the father is also so if she agrees to that then uh or we can do a poetry with her and it will get it will hopefully it will kick us to 10. anyway i've saved this in another slot so and let's try poetry all the little silks so you are the first and the last the outer a light pierced the gloom a defector is kept darts with armor made of purest devotion how about this Storming the fortress. Ah, yes, an uplifting tribute. So, oh, yeah, we get from 9 to 12. So that was the right choice for Lady Sonadel. So right now we are at 12. So that's perfect. Maybe we can now... Time is passing quickly and we cannot linger here too long. So maybe... Do you think that we can maybe have a future together? Sir, it is conf comforting... Uh, to hear that your intentions towards me are honorable, but perhaps we should take the time to get to allow our affection for each other to grow a little stronger before making any such. Uh, perhaps I can persuade you to de delay no further. Persuasion opportunity, what do you call this? Uh, Persuasion opportunity, re uh, relationship required for automatic success is 20. Current uh, relationship is 12. Chance of success is zero. Chance of losing one relation point is 100%. In, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead with it because if it says chance of love is a rose so we need to get it to 20 we're at 12 oh never mind right uh, okay uh because we are at at 12 so i guess we still have to we can't rush this along okay that makes sense since she's a very proper lady uh there's nothing we can do to force this or we can no, the fact is that she's a very proper lady and she's very conservative. She follows the old style, so uh, very traditional. So I guess we cannot press her. So we need to go court her some more. <laughs> anyway, so that's where we are. And I think we have already gathered uh, our full party. So and we, so it's I think it's about time we returned home and we have eaten through most of the stuff that we have you know what we did not go to the uh marketplace uh, wow 792 that's very expensive you know what we have never checked on the prices here for a business right uh, okay uh jacala so maybe this would be a good place to invest in a, um, say, a weavery and dye works because we've, we're seeing uh, raw silk uh, being available. So let's go talk to the uh, guild master guild, guild master. I think this this guy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, I, and then, okay, let us save this. Save as. So about the uh, courtship, that means had we forced it, it says zero chance, right? Not not, not 2%, not 1%, you know, zero chance. So I think that was uh, our backing off, I think, was the best way to do it. Okay, uh, okay, let's save it here. Anyway, we're 12, right? So every visit that we, uh, every visit we make increases our, what do you call this, uh, our relationship with Sonodel by one point. So that means uh, we have to visit her eight more times. Or maybe we can recite poetry and, and if it's the right poetry, like, it advanced it from 9 to 12. So, okay, let's check on this. Uh, <laughs> okay, Graveth doesn't like us. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> huh. What a, what a bummer. You know what we will do is we'll take over your castle. Huh. Uh, no, they are expensive. So, so we can we can keep in mind that this is where maybe we can. Let's buy just one fish. We're running out of food. We are carrying so many people. Uh, fifty-two. Yeah. Mm, no. Okay. And we picked up a lame charger in the course of a strong cricket bow. Masterwork Warbow. That's a level 8. I don't think we will buy that. Wow, it hits for 30 points piercing damage. A little on the slow side. Wow. So that means one of our guys has to get to level 24 on his strength to be able to draw this bow. Ah, <sighs> Very, very tempting. But I don't think we... That's I think that's too much. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, how much is it? Oh, that is way too much money. That is like uh, more than that is the total amount of uh, income for a week. So it's not worth it. Okay. Okay. Uh, see, it's happened. So happened. That's what we've been hitting all the uh, castles. Uh, around Swedia and here and also around uh, the uh, Rodok areas and so it just so happens so anyway uh, let's give her some time uh, let's not crowd her too much or uh, she might lose interest uh, I think let's just let's just hurry home uh, uh, where is home home is Mm hmm. I think home is home is Nara. Home is Nara because, again, in our party we are leveling up our Swedian people, right? So we are not collecting. Uh, okay, let's just hurry home. I'm curious as to how it will. You know what is the pathing what is the pathing by the computer what is the best path who are these guys Okay, late afternoon, let us save this. Again, yeah, we might actually, you know, those, uh, <laughs> uh, the Nords might want to decide to uh, challenge us or the Kurgits. So by keeping our faction at peace with the rest of the fa other factions, that is allowing our economics to be at its peak because since our villages are not being raided and despoiled
our merchant towns are actually doing good business and that's the reason why what village of Karindi and that's the reason why oh where are you going So the more time they're allowed to, our villages are allowed to develop uh, peacefully, their prosperity will slowly creep up. And when the villages' prosperity creep up, so does the um, the merchant towns. Militia now up to upgrade. So just riding around, we are increasing the quality of our troops and increasing the cost of course uh, and the reason is that what I have done is that every hero of our every companion including ourselves we have like invested four points into trainer training and all of them if we just at least put one into them it's gonna have a huge impact on lower rank troops like conscripts and if we can increase up to two points that means we you know our our army is going to grow like crazy it's very easy to quickly uh develop our troops and then we just need to go up north uh to punish the or work on the tundra bandits and the sea raiders to get the, to the last stage, right? From the uh, Sweden Knights to... Uh, okay, let's put it here. From uh, uh, Men at Arms to Sweden Knights. That's the fastest way to do it. Okay, let's come to Nara. And we have not been fighting lately, so... Our renown is slowly eroding and that's not good because that means uh, we cannot command quite as big an army but it's uh, it's 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 a very slow erosion it's not huge so for this whole exercise we have from here I think we started out with about 21 or 24 Sweden men-at-arms and then a big bunch of uh, uh, Sweden footmen about I would say about 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 40 and so we're ending up with 13 Sweden knights so 81 total of Sweden, Sweden so we have almost tripled the amount of Sweden knights we have uh, uh, Sweden men-at-arms and of that 81, 13 can be promoted to Sweden Knights. And the whole circuit was from our place. Um, so from our Nara, we went up to Arduna, and then we get we just hit all the the uh, the Sweden uh, towns, going all the way to Praven to call on the lady. Uh, that's Alfran. And then from there, we came down here, went again, hit all the villages uh, to pick up Swadian recruits. So then down here to, uh, not to Veluka, to Jakala, to talk to our prospect number two, which I believe will be our future wife. And then from here, we're coming back home. So the whole circuit took almost two weeks. Halmar, now we're at Nara, almost two weeks and about a week and a half i would say and so we picked up we're picking up really good quality soldiers now what who's this guy oh that's caravan okay let's go go to <laughs> let's go to our garrison and wait is there anybody in a tavern is there yep there's a ransom broker Let's go to our garrison and we can give and we picked up uh, some Nord warriors uh, when we uh, took on a bunch of bandits. Uh, so these 
we can convert to Sweden Knights. And then, wow, that, see, how much are they costing us? 34 bucks. Uh, let's give all of them. Um, and then I think uh, Sarah need to recruit Sweden Militia. Uh, we don't have any more footmen, right? I think, yeah, we... Sweden men at arms. We can retire uh, some more Sweden men at arms. Uh, give uh, 38 because it's very easy to level them up to to uh, Vigor Knights. Oh wait, Sweden Knights. Uh, as soon as we want to. Uh, hold on. So that means we can. No, I think. Hmm. I was thinking if we make another circuit, uh, that means we did. Oh yeah, we we dropped already. It, we we used to carry about 135, an army max of 135. So we have not been fighting. We have been just uh, recruiting, and our renown has slowly eroded. So we can only carry 134, a uh, total army of 134 now. Uh, so, so we still have about. Yeah, that's 19 plus 34, that's uh, 53. So we can, I think that's a good number. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's get rid of the prisoners that we have picked up. So we have actually improved our garrison by another 38 uh, Sweden men-at-arms, 17 uh, Sweden uh, knights, and three uh, Nord warriors, Nord veterans. And the veterans are on the expensive side. They're about they're costing us about 10 bucks a piece. Uh, yes, because they're equivalent of our footmen. Our footmen is yeah, no, six bucks. Oh, we don't have. That's why uh, there's. Wow, that's that's a big big jump from six bucks to twenty bucks. So the Swedian is still the easiest um, army unit to level up. Okay, so we are at eighty one, and we want to go to our market. Check on oh see wow we have we are we are running out of food. Masterwork strongbow. Well, this charger we pick a lame charger is now a regular charger. So we that's a cheap way to buy them is that when they are lame it costs us like nine hundred plus. Uh, dinars. Had we bought them while they were healthy, it would be about uh, almost double that. Uh, 153. No, he can source his own. Uh, how about food? Bread? We can. You know what? Let's go to our tannery. And we can drop the horse, the extra horse there. Uh, let's check inventories. Yeah, let's drop this one. So we have now two coursers. You know what? Maybe we just sell this one. Yeah. Um, and drop this warhorse. Yeah. And let's pick up one bread maybe and drop off this level seven right that's seven and these are a uh, level five six six and four okay I um, think that's the best way to do it okay and then as soon as we make the circuits of the uh, Swedish uh, villages 
I think we will we should be able to pick up more food right throwing heavy handed and we're going to Durham so I saw a bunch of heavy chargers like this in Oxhall I did not pick them up because we have enough horses as it is so let us sell these so wow these horses are now cheap cheap right okay um okay uh let's go to the castle i want to see how big this castle is oh it's not big it's actually very small uh except we have like two levels of this we can go further up i would rather once we're ready to move uh, move to dirham as our uh capital because over here no it's not it's like I'm not used to this uh, these are Kurgit castles and they look very narrow so it's like yeah no okay um, okay let's leave so it says here Nara is opulent and crowded with well to do and that's the reason why by keeping ourselves out of any conflict we're building up our economic uh, situation. So conflict, ooh. Uh, this is from Pravin. Okay, tell her to inform her mistress that you will come shortly. Okay, since we are making the rounds of Swedia anyway, we might as well go talk to her. And you know what? Yeah, if, uh, anyway, it's good to have like a backup, <laughs> even, even for our potential marriages. Uh, yes, no one wants to join us. Jeez, don't you understand? We're at peace by joining us. You know what? Let's go all the way up here, Tad Samish. And then we can come down here, Amir, Ushkuru, Emiram, Dirim, Todstar. What's our speed? Pretty slow, right? Yeah. Because we're heavy in infantry. I would love to get that, but I think that's on the expensive side. Hmm. You know what? Let's just buy it. I think our troops uh, deserve it. Okay. Okay, I think we need to save it here because uh, yeah, as soon as we leave any village, it's uh, it auto saves, and this is evening, and that's when these uh, announcements for declarations of war are made. So, okay, and then let's come down to Amir. Thus becomes evening. Evening becomes. Midnight Vesin Swedia and the Kingdom of Nords have made peace. Do we want that to happen? No. We don't want that to happen as long as uh, they're tired and they have not been raiding each other's town. So uh, that's perfect, right? They are preoccupied with each other. They have. Uh, Yeah, but they're tired, so they're not out there raiding. So, so that apparently, you know, their their armies are exhausted, so they have to go around and start uh, recruiting.
similar to what we're doing, except, you know, the game cheats. So I am not ashamed to cheat us as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, three footmen. Wow. Okay, that will speed up our our movement. The more cavalry we have. But we're only planning for about 53, like one trip around the whole of Swedia. You know, more or less adds only 53 troops. All right, let's get some cheese. Oh, nice, 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 nice. You know, whenever we trade with the villages, I wish, uh, you know, if they make a positive trade with us like that. Uh, we gain favor with them because you know what yeah we're buying stuff from them directly uh, and both sides win they that means they don't have to bring into town to sell it uh, and they get it directly from us I think it's a win-win situation so it they should allow the game should allow uh, getting favorable treatment with the villages What are these guys? Uh, let's see. Ooh, those are Swedes. They're heavy. Wow, that's a huge party. Braca and oh, Boyer Vlad is big. Interesting. Goods market. Yeah, rem I remember we have. They sell bread here relatively cheap uh, not so much on grain okay it doesn't want us to do that arms you know I'm looking for a heavy mace like this the problem is if we give this to our companions and we go on a when we start raiding a castle or try to take over a castle uh, 200 weapons they will not be carrying their shields and therefore they have you know they can be taken out early in the in the siege process so this is good uh, for uh, our companions when we are out Training them, uh, training up our army by you know preying on the tundra bandits and the uh, sea raiders, right? Because uh, if our companions are using blunt weapons, the tendency is to wound them rather than kill them. Uh, so that's a good policy, but that means we'll have to be carrying around uh, a set of nine items. So every time we go to war with another faction, we have to swap it out to sword and shield. And then once we go training, we have to swap out to sword, uh, to to yeah, to heavy iron mace, and it's and um, you know that's something we can do, but I, it's for me it's not worth the effort. Okay. Um, anyway, this is Dirim, right? Okay. And our timer just uh, sounded off, so I thought that when we hit with Sonata or what that lady's name is I thought we should be able to move the courtship one step forward to a marriage proposal and so that didn't happen anyway so I will be continuing to make the rounds of Swedia and leveling up our troops and then building up our cast position but I will not be recording those because they will be a repeat of what we, we just saw in this episode. Anyway, uh, once I have, once we can move forward on our courtship, uh, I will start recording that that process. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.